It doesn't get any better than that. Look at that beautiful, genuine Mercedes grill. Guys, all the cars that you see in these videos are for sale on my website, www.woodsandbarclay.com. Enjoy the video. Okay, guys, here is the next video in the series on the 1985 300CD. This is the car with 56,000 miles, smoke, uh, smoke silver exterior, and black MB Tex. So in the last video... Uh, you saw me repairing the rear window regulator. That is all done. Now, I don't have the back seats back in the car yet or the panel back on. But what I want to show you today is how to fix the dreaded sagging seat backs, uh, seat back nets. See, this is very common. On just about every 123 chassis, you see this uh, is sagging a little bit. So today we're going to remove this seat back and we're going to repair the net on the driver and the passenger side and we'll put it back up to where it looks nice again so to get the seat back off there is you have one screw right there and then this entire seat back just slips down and out the bottom all right the best way to record that is from over there you can see i still need to put this panel back on from where i repaired the regulator and i need to put the seats back in but to get this out we're going to undo this one screw, there we go, and I'll just set that in the floorboard. There we go, that pops out. Guys, let me show you how nice it looks behind this seat. There you go, this is all the original, all of the original padding, you can see none of it's deteriorated. It's still soft. A lot of times this will like disintegrate and turn to dust. And uh, this padding is in excellent shape. Still has the, uh, I guess that's who manufactured. Here we go, late 1984. It looks it's like it says right there. Not sure what that is. Yep, yeah, looks, looks like it's written in German. But uh, just beautiful inside the back of that seat. So let me take the net over to the bench and show you guys how to repair that. Okay guys, this plastic uh, bezel that or it surrounds the net is extremely fragile. So you have to do this the right way or you're gonna break it. So we turn this over and we can see we have a Phillips here and a Phillips over here. First we need to take those out. And we'll take that piece, just set it there. Okay, so what you got to do is slide these up, right? See, these hooks are pointing down, and these hooks right here are pointing to the right. So first, you slide up the hooks that are pointing down. And you get them to pop through. Now you don't want to force them. You want to be very careful. Okay. Now, once you get those through, you can slide it to the right and get those bottom ones out. Okay, let's see which one is hanging. There we go. All right. There we go. Now we'll just set our back over here. Okay, right here, we can actually turn this sideways. Let's let me pry this out of here with a little pick. All right. We can rotate that and slip it out of the slot right here. And what we're gonna do this is like a, almost like an alligator clip. There's little teeth and it's, it's pinched together on there. So we're just gonna shorten this 
elastic band a little bit and then reattach it right there and see how that tightens up the net. But first, you have to get this off. And there's a the way that I do it. You need a little right angle pick. Put this right angle pick right down in there. And tap it in there until it open up it opens up this little alligator clip. Here we go. Not sure if you guys can see that, but it's starting to spread the alligator teeth apart. All right. There you go. See those little teeth that are starting to separate and come out of the uh, elastic band? There we go. Okay. Let's see if we can move it, slide it down. There we go. See? Now we can slide it down the band. We just want to slide it down and I want it to be I want it to be right about there. So once we get it where we want it, just grab some pliers, I mean some needle nose, and you cinch it back together. You push those alligator teeth back down in there. There we go. That's now locked back in place. Now we're going to cut off the slack. There we go. And then we're going to put that right back in the little notch right here. Got to twist it back in there. There we go. All right. That has now been tightened. So let's go ahead and set it back on the seat back. See how easy that was, guys? Now, you just got to be careful because you will break these uh, plastic frames. Now, when I line it back up with the holes, see how the net is going to be tight? So what we first want to do, I like to wipe down the back of the seat while the net's not there because you can't access it otherwise. And this is just NB Tech, so just regular glass cleaner works great. All right, there we go. Nice and clean. Okay, we're gonna flip this over. We're gonna put our net here underneath it. Okay, remember, the last thing we popped out were the, the two in the middle that slide sideways. So those can be the first ones that we pop back in there. There we go, slide it to the right. There we go, and we slide it down. All right, that's locked back in there. Now, let's go ahead, put our screws back in. All right, guys, that's it. And when you're done, you have a nice seat back net. You still have some elastic band in there, and that's gonna look beautiful back in the car. So let's go ahead and put this side back in, then we'll do the passenger side. Let's go ahead and slip this back in. Now, there's guides. There's these little rails on the side of the seat. The seat actually tucks around. So you get these lined up in the rails. There you go. And it just slides up the rails. Now, when you get to the top, you have to give it a, a nice push so it snaps in up there. There we go. That's it guys. There you go. Look how good that looks now. All right, there we go. Got the passenger side back in and the driver side. See how much nicer that looks? They're not all sagging and drooping down. Okay, I'm just doing some final aesthetic touches on this vehicle and we can see, there we go. Right here, there's a couple of small cracks in the headlight bezel and couple of little small cracks right here um, so I have some uh, new old stock headlight bezels that are there you go crack free um, so I went ahead and cleaned this up and polished it now I want to put this uh, on the car and take this one off that has the minor cracks removing these is very easy guys you just reach 
right around here behind the back and you can screw off these little pieces. And I think there's, I think there's three of them, yeah. All right. And then you can just slide that out. And here we go, we have a beautiful original, it says Bosch, made in Germany. This is not aftermarket, guys. This isn't aftermarket junk. Bosch made in Germany. It's the real stuff. There we go. That is way better. It's pretty easy to do, but it's all the little details like this that add up to make a very, very nice car. And there we go, guys. We can see this one here doesn't have the little cracks right here. Much, much nicer original Bosch. All right, guys, and there's one final aesthetic thing I want to do to this car. And you can see this is the original grill piece. It's beautiful. It's the original piece, but we have a little dent right there. A little dent right there. And it looks like there may be one very subtle right there. Again, that's that's beautiful original condition, but I called Mercedes the other day and I actually purchased, they had a few of these left in inventory. And let me show you this. There we go. This is an original Mercedes grill assembly. I bought it from RBM of Atlanta. Let me lay this down so you guys can see it. Check that out. Brand new, genuine Mercedes, original out of the box, and it's flawless. See how beautiful this is? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the car, and man, this thing is gonna look perfect. Guys, removing these front grills, um, it's very, very simple. You got an eight millimeter here, and then you gotta get up into this hole to get one that's there. And then there's one here, and then the same three on the other side. So, a little tricky, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that off now. Pretty easy, you just remove these 8 millimeter screws. We actually have all new screws and hardware with the genuine Mercedes one that I just bought from RBM of Atlanta. They actually come with all that. Alright guys, I'm on the last bolt right here, or last sheet metal screw, whatever you want to call it. And when this comes out, this grill is going to slide off. There we go. There we go. Okay guys, here is the uh, one that came off the car. Now what we want to do is take off the Mercedes logo and the emblem up here. And we want to transfer it over to this one. And this is a genuine Mercedes. This is not aftermarket. This is not URO. This is from the Mercedes dealership. Uh, it is the exact same piece. Uh, I don't like putting any fake aftermarket parts on these cars. This is a real part. Um, so let's go ahead. We'll move this guy out of the way a little bit. We'll turn this one over. And we are going to... We're going to unscrew the emblem right here, and we're going to compress this and remove our star. Logo is pretty easy. It's an 8 millimeter, and we just unscrew it there. There we go. There we go. There's our beautiful near-perfect condition emblem. We'll transfer that over. Let me get the little... There's a nut and a washer that go behind it. So we'll go ahead and transfer that over. And then I need to pinch this and turn it, and we can actually remove the star and then transfer that over. There we go. All right, beautiful. So we have the original star. We want to transfer this over too.
And there it is, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Got some fingerprints right there. I'll get that stuff off. But brand new grill. Got the original logo back on here. And the emblem. I'm going to polish the emblem. And let's get this back on the car. It doesn't get any better than that. Look at that beautiful, genuine Mercedes grill. All the slats are now perfect. That's as good as it gets, you guys. Perfectly restored. That's the original emblem off the car. Look how deep the blue is and how white the star is in the middle. That means it never sat in the sun. And that's the original star. Absolutely beautiful. It's going to Scott next week. And he's going to detail it, you know, buff, polish, put a nice coat of wax on it. And then uh, I will do the walk around and test drive video. Just do a little shakedown, make sure I didn't uh, miss anything. But uh, this is an extremely nice vehicle, guys. So just stay tuned. It's an 85 300 CD federal car, uh, black MB Tex and smoke silver interior. So I'll show you guys uh, the car in the detail video when it gets to Scott. We'll see you next week. Take care.